This is a tutorial for Poyomi Eye Effects shader. This is a Patreon shader available to all $10 plus patrons. You get a shader every two weeks if you're in the $10 tier, and you also get access to beta branches of the main tune shader. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description below. So this is what our final product should look like when we're done. I'm just going to go ahead and reset the settings on the shader. It's a fairly complex shader, or it's not really that complex, but it's daunting to look at just because there's so many options, but I'll walk you through everything. Alright, first things first, we need to set a background. A background is just the color that is the background to all of your effects or texture. You can optionally set a background texture, but I think in this case I am just going to set the background to a dark color. So I'm going to go down here to background color, select it, and I'm just going to set it to a dark gray, almost black. Next up I'm going to set the line work. So in this case I have a texture made here. All it is is whatever's white is considered line work, so the pupil and the outside rim of the eye. Uh, let's drag that in. So line work into line work. So you can see the outline is that the highlights are also white right now, but that's just because we haven't set them. So now you can go down to your line work color now that you have a mask set, and you can just set that to whatever color you want. You can set up a mission, do whatever. In our case, we're just going to set the line work to black. Next up, we have highlights. Uh, let me find the texture so that we can show what's happening here. So this is the texture for the eye. You can see that there's the eye in the top right corner, so that's where we're going to do all of our work. And then this white part up here is what they're using for the highlight color. So we're going to mask out just that white part. And go into the eye. I've already set up the highlight mask here. I just went in Photoshop and made the top right corner white and I made the rest black. So I'll drag that into the highlight. So now the highlights are white. You can change those like anything else. I'm just going to leave them at white. This shader uses two gradients for two layers. It's optional. You can use one or two. You can use up to two. So you have to make a gradient, which is probably the hardest part of the shader. Let me just open up Photoshop, show you how to do it. So as you can see here, this is what the gradient looks like. The eye texture is like this. So basically how it works is wherever the gradient is pure white will always just stay that full color. There will be no noise and then where the gradient goes from white to black will have a decrease in noise as it reaches black. So all I usually do is I put the image in Photoshop, I add a black layer, and then I add another layer above that. I go into the gradient tool, I select the black and white one, I move black to the other side, and now if I want the gradient, or if I want the lower part of this eye here to be white, I just go, I move this to around 25%. And then I want the top 50% of the eye to be black or not have anything in it. So I just set it up like that. Then I go here and I will drag up the entire eye and you'll get this gradient. It's not straight. You can hold shift to make it straight. And then that will basically just set up your gradient properly. I like to use the circular gradients. So you can go here and then you go to the top of the eye and you'll get this. And that's basically what I've done for something like this, except it's bigger in that one. And that's all you have to do to make gradients. I have two gradients set up already, made them the same way you just saw. So I'm going to grab the front gradient and I'm going to put that in the front gradient slot. So now you can sort of see only the white part because we have no noise. 
So let's grab some noise for the front. I'm just gonna use noise that I include in my tune shader. Um, go with this one. Looks good to me. And then we're just gonna set the tiling up to five. And then I'm gonna set the noise pan to negative 0.3. So now the noise is panning upwards. How this works is the whitest part of the noise will last all the way up to the top of the gradient. And the darks will be cut out at the lower edges of the white. So as it goes up, only the whitest parts of your noise will last to the top. So if you have a if you have noise that has these pure white spots, they're gonna last all the way up to the top. Like that. But we're just gonna use this one. This one. I'm gonna set that for the second gradient as well. And then I'm just going to, or the second noise, and then I'm gonna drag that other gradient in. So the back one is bigger than the front one, just cause it needs to be visible behind it. So gradient back, and the noise is gonna just pan the same way, negative 0.3. I'm gonna set the tiling up. That's the wrong tiling. Let's set the tiling up properly. And now I'm going to change the front color to pretty close to white in this blue area. And then I'm going to change the background to this blue. And now as I adjust the emission, it'll get closer to white. So I'm going to adjust the front emission to one, and then I'm going to adjust the back emission to uh, one looks fine. Let's go one on both. And that's basically the entire effect working. Now I'll show you a few more things. You can also use textures for the front and back, also the background. So I'll set the front texture to something random. Uh, go with this one. So you can see the front is that texture now. I'll set up some tiling, set it to 10. You can see the little faces in the fire now. And then you can also scroll that up at the same speed. And you get that effect. I don't know if you'd ever want this, but it's an example. So I'm gonna remove that. There's also blending. So you can set the front to a soft blend or a hard blend. So right now it's hard. There's hard edges on the flames. You can set that to soft. It's hard to see with that emission but it's using basically exactly what the gradient looks, or not the gradient, the noise. It's exactly what the noise looks like. Set the top one to soft as well. If you want something soft, you can do that. I prefer the hard edges. And if you wanted to set a background, you can do it the same way. I'll just grab this one again. You can see the background textures there. Obviously we don't want that. I think that covers everything. If you need any help, the Discord will be in the description. Feel free to check out my Patreon. There's a lot of cool stuff on there. Thanks for watching.